Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mount CD or DVD permanently so that it remains mounted in the next boots as well. Doing this, you don't have to mount the drive manually each time you reboot the system and you want to use the drive. I'm here in my Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 server's bash terminal. To list all the block devices, I run lsblk command. Here we can see the DVD drive of the system, the SR0, which has now rel at DVD inserted. To use the drive, we need to mount it to a directory, otherwise we can't access any of its file. If we mount it to a directory with the mount command and then the directory name, it's mounted temporarily until the next boot. Each time you power on the server and want to use the files of the DVD, then you will need to mount it manually. But when we make it persistent, we don't have to mount it each time we reboot the server. I want to mount the DVD drive to a directory which is in my root directory of the server and the directory name is slash DVD install. I have already created this directory. So you should create a directory if you don't already have. And I want to mount this drive SR0 to the directory DVD install. Run the command blkid and the DVD name as slash dev slash sr0. Copy the UUID which we can see inside the double quote. Note that don't copy the double quote. Now open the fstab file which is inside slash etc directory with a text editor such as a vi or vim. Go to the last line and go to the end of the line. Press i to switch into insert mode. Press right arrow and press enter to go to the next line. Here type as uuid equals press ctrl shift b to paste slash dvd install iso 9660 defaults space 0 space 0. Here slash dvd install is the mount point directory name. Press escape key type colon x to save and exit from the file. Now if you run mount space hyphen a command, the drive is mounted on the mount point directory that we specified on the slash etc slash fstab file. To verify if it's mounted, run lsblk command. As you can see, the drive is mounted to the directory slash dvd install. Now let's reboot the server and check back again. It should have been mounted automatically. Okay, the system is rebooted. I log into the system. To open the terminal, click on activities and click on the terminal. Now if you run lsblk command, we can see the drive sr0 is mounted on the mount point directory slash dvd install. This is how we can configure a CD DVD drive for persistent mount. That's all for now. I hope the video was useful to you. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next. Until then, have a nice time. Goodbye.